let's talk about how we can run things as a particular user. Now, here's the motivation for why I thought this was a cool question to talk about. And that is, it's so common for someone to encounter some sort of um, obstacle when they're using the Oracle database because of the privileges issue. Now, I'm, that sort of sounds like I'm saying that's a bad thing. That's actually a really good thing. Why? The best security model you can have when working with any database, or in fact, any, any product that in, involves data, is that of what I call the least privileged model. That is, you get access to nothing unless you absolutely need it, and then it's given to you. The concept of starting out with everyone getting everything, well, that's when you see all these thing, web pages about how various you know, products, databases, etc., all got hacked and users and data got leaked all over the internet. The con you know, even back in the day, ooh, way back when Oracle 6, Oracle 7, we used to ship the database with some default passwords for the SysDBA accounts such that people could very quickly get up and start it. Even that very quickly becomes revealed as a big security risk because people forget to change them. So there's a big push that all database vendors should be embracing. Some do it better than others. I'd like to think that we do it pretty much better than anyone. And that is the concept of least privilege. You pretty much get access to nothing. There is, oh, the problem is, the obstacle there is when I'm trying to do things, I try to create a procedure, I can't do it. I try to query a particular table, I can't do it when I think I should. I then go speak to the DBA and he says, it works on my machine, works fine. That's because obviously a DBA has a much greater level of privilege. And that can be a little bit frustrating if you're a non-privileged user, getting those kind of responses back from people who have the privileges telling you that, well, it's your problem, you have to try to sort it out. The way to solve that, the way to adopt the same privileges and, and become a user that is not your current user is what we call proxy account usage. And this is a really cool tool for DBAs to do things like testing as a lower privileged account, or even just helping out a user by logging on as, their, as themselves without ever knowing that user's password. Because it's a bit of an awkward conversation as a DBA to have with someone to say, yeah, well, I'd love to help you. What's your password? And I'll log on as you. Unfortunately, a lot of users would quite happily divulge that, but generally it's not a good idea. So as a DBA, we don't want to get customers into the habit of doing that. It's fine, little backstory there. I get phone calls from my bank from time to time and they've cold called me and they'll go, oh, we want to offer you a better deal on something. And they'll go, but we first we have to make sure it's Connor we're speaking to. So please tell us your name and your date of birth and your account number and stuff. And that, it's funny how even in, in that secure environment, when I point out to them that, no, that's a really dumb idea for me to tell you if you phoned me, it's not like they're, they're upset about it. They're like blissfully unaware. They're like, oh, well, but, but we called you. It's the bank, honest. You know, how, how could we be nasty? And so they're not doing it out of malice. They're just blissfully ignorant of, of the risks in terms of divulging information. So this is where proxy account usage is pretty cool. So this is how it works. Scott phones me up as a DBA and says, look, I've got some problems. I can't query this table. And I'll go, yeah, well, can I be you for a while? And, and I'm gonna switch sharing screen and actually show you a demo in um, SQL Plus. Let's see how. This is how it works. Let's, let's set the scene here. I've got Joe DBA and he hasn't got the world's most secure password, but please, <laughs> this is for the sake of the demo. So we connect as a DBA. He's created a table called Scott. And the, so he's created a table under the Scott schema and it's called meant to be public. And it's a one row table. And he doesn't want to grant select to public because that might be a security risk. He's, he's obeying the least privilege model here but he's gonna grant select to the connect and the resource roles because he's fairly confident in the knowledge that every single user on this database gets the connect privilege and the resource privilege. Let's say it's a development database. So he's pretty comfortable now that everyone's gonna be able to see this table. Now here's a user called demo. When we were creating the demo, the user called demo, we made a slight mistake. We didn't give him the connect role. We gave him just create session, the direct sys privilege. So he actually missed out on the connect role, which is a bit of a problem. So now let's connect as demo and he can connect because he's got the connect session privilege. But what happens when he tries to query this table called meant to be public owned by Scott? He can't get it. And this is where he jumps on the phone to Joe DBA and says, Joe, you said I'd be able to query this table, but I can't. Now that's a problem for Joe DBA because he'll log on as himself and he'll go, look, I can query it. And this is the works on my machine problem. You know, it's fine for Joe, it's not so good for the guy named Demo. So this is how we can do proxy accounting to actually let Joe the DBA observe events as if he was the user called Demo. These are the commands and they're very easy to do. 
we alter the user called demo and we have that thing called grant connect through Joe DBA. And what that means is Joe DBA is now allowed to proxy into the demo schema without ever knowing demo's password. This is how Joe does it. He does connect Joe DBA as before, but then we have the square brackets and this is the user in which he's going to proxy into. And he provides his own password, not that of demo. He never knows demo's password. If we look at it, we actually do a show user command. Joe DBA has actually now connected as the user called demo, even though he never knew demo's passwords. This grant connect through is a great way of being able to connect as another user without actually knowing the credentials. And now Joe DBA says, ah, yes, I can see what the problem is. When I'm querying it, I can see exactly what you see as a user. So it's not like Joe is sort of having to do any kind of interpretation. He literally is here connected as the user called demo. The nice thing with proxy authentication or proxy connect through is I haven't showed it in the demo here is that, is that what's going on here is if we turn on auditing, session level auditing, we will actually see in the audit trail that Joe DBA was this initiator of the connection, but he ended up as demo. We get both pieces of information in our audit trail as well. So that's a really cool thing in terms of even if you're granting these proxy connect throughs, it's not like it'll just look like, hey, demo logged on there and, and did something to subvert the database. We actually see that it was Joe DBA, he proxied through demo, and we captured both that information in the audit trail. So it's nice and secure as well. So these are the commands, just to uh, sort of sum up this topic. It's very simple, it's alter user demo, grant connect through Joe DBA. Demo is the person we're gonna ultimately be connected as, and Joe DBA is the guy that we're giving the privilege to do so in, and that's the syntax. So I'm connecting with my Joe DBA username, my Joe DBA password, so I never use DB demo's password, and the demo goes in the square brackets, that's the person I'm gonna be ultimately connecting as. Mm -hmm.